Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. Group condemns alleged vote buying video ahead a do poll. A nonpartisan group, National Consultative Front, has condemned an alleged electoral inducement uncovered in Edo State ahead of the state governorship election holding on Saturday, which is today. The group made the condemnation in a statement issued by its head, Public Affairs Bureau Dr. Tanko Yanusa, on Friday. Yanusa said the leadership of the group condemned the electoral inducement uncovered by its monitors in a viral video, where agents and stalwarts of one of the dominant political parties, poly, of one of the dominant political parties, were seen exchanging monies. The video also showed gift of Ankara clothing materials in exchange for the permanent voter card of voters. The group threatened that it would drag the defaulting party and its governorship candidates before the International Court of Justice and the international community. If those manipulative heart continued during the election, it said, We hereby wish to alert the nation, especially the General Abdul Salami Abubakar led Peace Committee, the Heineck, and the international community of this unfortunate heart of desperations by the party. And this is capable of sparking off a major crisis that would mar the peace and credibility of the entire elections. Therefore, we urge them to quickly step in to nip this subversive and circumventing build up of voters or votes buying in the board before they degenerate into a free for all. Our pre election investigations and findings have also revealed a tense violent build up between the two leading political parties in the Edo elections. Yanusi said in the event of further recklessness and violations of electoral ethics, by any of the contesting political parties, the NFNC front would not hesitate to raise a formidable petition over the matter before the international community. Our monitoring situation room stash stationed in a dual state has been mandated to compile every electoral offenses observed during the elections for judicial processes. He said, so viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? You know, kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. The reality is that it shouldn't be new to us. All this thing that is happening in Edo State is not a new thing at all. This is exactly what our politicians have been doing before now. Even all, the, all our past elections, they have been rigging the vote. vote. They have been exchanging money to, to, to buy the vote. And that is exactly what is going on right now. But it's just so shameful that Nigerian election cannot be once, once in a moment, be free and fair election. It is not a good thing at all. How can they be exchanging money with the vote? In fact, to, to the extent that they are, they are seeing them on the video. Now the group are now condemning the alleged vote, buying video ahead of a dope poll for that matter. Why is it that our Nigerian election is not nothing to write home about? And this is exactly what we are talking about. And these people forget that other, other countries are seeing us, are looking at us, are looking at the way our elections goes. Now, look at what they are doing in, the, in Edo State. And this is to tell you that even the PDP and the APC, they are desperate. They want to make it a do or die half years. And it's not supposed to be so. APC is doing their own. Likewise, PDP, they are also doing their own too. This is not a good thing. At least for once. Our Nigeria election, let it be, let it be peaceful for once. And now we are hearing that they are, not even, they are now blocking um, the, the PDP governors. They don't allow them to enter Edo State, whereby we have APC governors inside uh, Adam's Oshiamone, Oshiamone's uh, domain. So what are we now talking about? This is not a good thing at all. 
this is not a good thing at all. And now the groups are coming out, crying out, in order for these people not to rig the election. Crying out for the Heineck. But unfortunately, the people that, that they are crying out for, the people that they are crying out to, they are the ones that are even the top corrupted set of people. The top leaders are the ones that are even spoiling the whole thing. And that is where the problem is. Now what for our, for our leaders? Oh, I'm telling you. At least, even for once, let us hear that, uh, oh, ah, the election was peaceful. Nothing happened. Everything was fine. Nobody rigged the vote. Let us even hear it for once. You know, outside the country, you some elections that have been done outside the country, United States, UK, and all that, you don't hear their voices. Sometimes, you don't even know that they are even doing the election at that, pro at that moment. But Nigeria is a different case entirely. It is well with us. I don't even know what. It is even well. Let's just wait and see the final results. So if you ask, what do you think about this? Kindly of drop your comments. Have the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you are yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the uh, notification button so that whenever we upload this you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime any day we appreciate you for always being there for us at all time we say god bless you to you have a lovely